And in business, companies with remote working technologies are already seeing increased demand and a good efficiency level. IT spending forecasts indicate continued demand for cloud infrastructure services and potential increases in spending on specialized software. Forecasts also anticipate increased demand for business communication equipment and telecom services as organizations encourage employees to work from home. I am now joined by Eugene Ebem. Hello, Eugene. Hi, Erin. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Now, the global Thank pandemic has uh, the global pandemic has taken the black swan nature in multiple sectors which grapple for survival. However, some IT products have seen a surge in demand. What has the experience been like for you as an IT professional, particularly during the COVID nineteen um, break? Um, first of all, I want to thank you for having me. I would state that the COVID-19 pandemic has had both positive and negative effects and uh, impacts in different sectors of um, IT. And specifically for uh, companies, you know, every company now is grappling with the fact that every of their employee will have to be working from home. So there has been a surge in demand for technologies that enable remote working capabilities with companies trying to set up remote uh, access for their employees uh, to work from home. And also the security of their data, why these employees are working from home is also an issue. So there's also been an increase in the demand for security um, equipment that will uh, secure the data of these companies while the uh, employees are connecting from home to ensure that there is no breach in the data, most especially for companies who deal with uh, personally identifiable information, uh, like fin this financial industry and also healthcare industries, because there are a lot of, you know, um, there could be a lot of, um, a lot of um, issues with, you know, with regards to handling of those um, personal identifiable information. If you don't handle those, you know, effectively, you could have, you know, a lot of lawsuits with you know, from individuals or even uh, industries. So I would say that there has been an increase, especially for IT uh, companies producing remote working uh, technologies and also security apparatus. All right, before I let you go, how will businesses and individuals leverage on this lockdown? What opportunities exist in the IT space? So both businesses and individuals can use this opportunity to their advantage. For individuals on one hand, this is an opportunity for them to look at ways of acquiring most, especially for individuals who lost, there are a lot of people who lost their jobs during this time. You, you see in the US, millions of people are filing for unemployment you know, uh, weekly. So it's an opportunity for individuals to look at new opportunities that exist in the IT space. Because we're in the fourth industrial revolution right now, where IT, you know, which is IT driven. And a lot of people are losing their jobs to robots. So it's an opportunity for people who are interested in IT to take up training opportunities, improve their skills, and try to get new jobs in, in the IT world. For example, uh, my company, um, we have a lot of opportunities for individuals to go and take you know, courses that can prepare them for new jobs. Right. For companies, on the other hand, it's an opportunity for different industries, most especially um, in the IT services industry, to look at cloud um, online business opportunities. For example, um, restaurants are seeing an increase in all um, uh, food orders online. So a lot of a lot of small and large scale uh, businesses that were not doing online deliveries are looking at that. So I think this is an opportunity for a change in strategy for both businesses and individuals. All right. Thank you so much, Eugene, for uh, joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. Certainly.